Yo, what is up guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're finally gonna start the Infinity M45. Uh, we did start it earlier, but there was like a few things that are kind of wrong with the car that I need to actually replace before I actually trying to start it and make it run for a little bit longer. But the guy came over earlier to go ahead and program the new key to the car, which is this one right here. Brand new nice key. There's quite a few things that happened. It's a long story with Copart. Uh, they had stated they had the key. But long story short, they just never came through with the key. They couldn't find it for whatever reason. Uh, I have a feeling that they just lied about it and just wanted to sell me the car so they just said they had a key, but in reality they didn't. But we got a key, but there's a few things wrong. We need to go ahead and change out the battery because it's completely dead. I did actually go to AutoZone already to go ahead and replace it. We got a brand new battery, so we're gonna install it. I actually tested my battery for the 370Z on the M45 and it did actually turn it on, so I know that it's good. It does turn on, the engine's good, there's no knocking or anything, so that's what I'm really happy about, but I haven't tested like the transmission or anything. The car has no gas right now, so it does like shut off, so I need to go ahead and get that as well. But let me go ahead and show you guys what I purchased in order to get the car running for right now. So you have the brand new battery over there that we're gonna install into the car. And we picked up a gallon of gasoline just to get the car running for right now, because it does die out, now it has no gas at all, it's like on E. And then I picked up this coolant system cleaner and I picked up a bunch of distilled water. The reason I picked up distilled water is because this is not going to cause any corrosion in the car. There's no chemicals or anything that will cause corrosion and we're going to use the distilled water to go ahead and clean it up. But we're first going to flush out the entire system adding the distilled water with the cooling system cleaner but we're going to do that in another video and I'll turn it on. But there's a few issues with the remote key. I'm not sure if it's because the battery is weak that it's not working or it may be some type of other issue why it's not working. All right, so here's what the car is doing. So right now the car is not detecting the key, but it does work when I put it inside the port right here. So right there it does detect it. So I'm not sure exactly what's going on. And then I push the on button. And it does turn the car on. So yeah, I don't really know what's going on with the car. But now when I take it out, it says no key detected. Let's put you on it. See if that fixes everything else. This is just a gallon, so it's not too much. So we went ahead and filled it up. Let's go ahead and start it. <laughs> See, now it started with no problems. I was having issues before. It is running kind of rough though. I didn't notice that the VDC is on. What does that mean? VDC, that's this right here. Yeah, there's something wrong with the VDC APS. But when I ran the code, nothing was happening, so I'm not sure what's what that's about. Break slip. Huh, I'll have to look into that. All right, so I'm pretty positive that I figured out why all those lights are on. Which is like the brake, the VDC, and then the slip. And it's because it's low on brake fluid. So let me go ahead and fill it up. So right there you can see that it's at minimum and even if it just touches that line all those lights are going to turn on so i took the car out for a test drive and after taking it out it turned off all the other lights i'm not sure why they were on but after driving it, turning it off, and then turning it back on, they went away for some reason. But the slip, and then the like 
whatever this thing is called right here vdc was not turning off so i'm not sure if something happened where um when it was in the, in the junkyard they like moved it kind of weird which triggered the abs system the slip and everything so i'm pretty positive that's what happened but everything is now clear no check engine lights whatsoever um there's actually one check engine light and that is the intake i'll check right now which one it is but it's like p something so you guys hear that you see that right now the intake is messed up so it has a lot of like holes which is causing the car to like not breathe right so i did order an intake already so that's going to be coming in uh within the next few days and that should fix that problem that's the only code that came up after revving the car uh, when i was bleeding the system but yeah so far everything seems to be good no issues with the car drove fine i went through the gears easy didn't like slip or anything it was just hesitating because of the intake issue um, whenever there's holes it's running too lean it's taking in too much oxygen or air which is throwing off the map sensor so i'm going to clean that i already bought the materials and everything but we just need to wait for the intake to come in so i'll do a video on that as well and that should pretty much fix the idle issue if it doesn't there's something else wrong so the reason i have that check engine light is because of this right here so you can see this is completely broken this is two pieces which should only be one and then right here there's tape to cover up the hole but if you take it off which i'm not going to do right now but on the previous video that i made on the m45 i'll show you guys how this thing just completely came apart i'll most likely just add a clip right here all right so something else i noticed on here that looks like they broke this thing that goes on the intake and then they just taped <laughs> everything else in here um i'm not sure why that looks like that right there it looks like they just threw something in there i'm about to take this off but that's broken and then this is broken I gotta take the sensor off of course can't lose that took off the intake over there filter but yeah, this thing's all messed up the box is good itself but this thing over here needs to be replaced of course and then i need to clean the math sensor so that's why i'm getting that code and then this is disconnected as well so of course if all this is disconnected it's gonna have some trouble running it's gonna be running too lean but that's where that issue is coming from so i already ordered the intake and it should be here uh, within the next few days so we'll install it and see how it runs after that all right guys so we're gonna go ahead and end the video right there i'm really happy and excited that we were able to get the infinity m45 to turn on with really no huge problems because my main concern was the engine and everything else seems to be good there's just a few things that we actually need to fix um, when it comes to like certain other components on the car but as for the key i wanted to talk about it a little bit just to give you guys a little bit more information on which key you're supposed to get now for the Infiniti M45, you need a specific key. The FCC ends in 618. If you do not get that key, the programmer will not connect the new key or try to connect to it. It will not be able to find it. It's just gonna give it an issue and you can't connect it to a different FOB. It has to be the one and ending with the FCC of 618. Just to give you guys a little bit of a heads up because we did try with a different key, wasn't working. We even tried with another one as well, wasn't working, didn't even wanna connect to it. And after doing it with this one, it did work. Now, there's a chance that this key might be malfunction or defective just because it's not working with the locking mechanism or anything like that. When you go inside the car, it does lock the doors and everything. But when you try to lock it with the key, it doesn't work. So it has to be something with the key because everything else seems to work properly. So we're going to try a new key later on, see if that works. I'm going to keep you guys updated. I'll make another video on that as well. But for the most part, that's it, what's going on with the key. There's a few other things that I found out with the car. For example, it doesn't have AC. I tried to engage the clutch on the AC component. It tried to engage, but it would like stop. So that's usually a sign that there's no refrigerant. I did check that and it doesn't have any at all. So I'm gonna try to refill it. There's another noise that's coming from the engine bay area, which I believe is a pulley. It's kind of making noise every once in a while, like it comes and then it goes. Um, it's not doing it all the time. So it's not like an engine ticking sound or anything like that. Is something that's coming from the pulley area so i'm gonna have to look into that i'll make another video on those things as well once we get to that point but the intake is ordered it should come in within the next few days i'll go ahead and install that 
and we'll see how the fitment is and how it sounds and I'm really excited about that as well. But yeah, I'm really excited to see what's to come to this car, trying to get it running. I just want to get it up to a good point where it's running, make it last as much as possible for right now until it eventually breaks. Um, it does have a lot of miles, that's about 215,000 miles, but I'm not sure if the engine has been replaced just because I saw a few things that look like the engine has been taken out. Uh, there was a few wording on the engine as well on the inside that doesn't appear to be normal. So something has to have been done to the engine where it was either replaced or something happened. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.